Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making egg foo young. This is one of my favorite comfort foods. Okay, so for the egg foo young, I am going to be using six to eight ounces of bean sprouts. These actually are sort of past their prime here, but I'm still gonna use them. But about six to eight ounces works. I'm also going to be adding three large eggs. Here I have about three to four ounces of cooked shrimp. Actually, this is probably closer to three ounces, but four ounces works in here. And you can play around with the ratios of the ingredients to suit your preference. If you want more meat, then you can add, you know, more shrimp. That's going in. And I basically cooked these. I just sauteed them and seasoned them with white pepper and salt. Here I have one scallion chopped going in. I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt, a little bit of white pepper, maybe a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. You could also use fresh garlic and onion in this. A quarter teaspoon of garlic. Now I'm just gonna give it a mix. And actually, before I forget, I have one more ingredient. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch. Actually, let's do a tablespoon and a half. There we go. And now give it a good mix. Okay, this is mixed. Going to cook this now. Okay. Ladle full. And place it right in your, your oil. This is preheated. There we go. And once you add it using a ladle, it sort of keeps its little patty shape. Sometimes, if I'm unsuccessful, it runs all over the place. So now I'm just gonna And a good fry temp is somewhere between 345-350. And once it's had a chance to sort of cook a little bit, I'm going to give it a flip. And the name of the game is to give it a crispy exterior and make sure it cooks on the inside without burning the outside. So I'm going to cook this for a couple of minutes in this fry oil. And if you need to adjust the, the temperature or the heat, do so. Because you really want the inside to cook and it's going to get a deep golden brown color on the outside. Okay, so here's my first patty. Egg foo young. And I love the texture. It's really one of my favorite comfort foods. So I'm going to place it in my colander over a bowl just to let any residual oil run off and I'm going to repeat the process. There we go. This one kind of went everywhere. All right. Perfect. Love it. So here are my egg foo young patties. Those three large eggs with the other ingredients gave me four. Here's my last patty. I'm just letting it hang out in there. It gave me four uh, small patties. And you can double and triple this for a larger meal. Okay, so I'm going to use the same pan that I sauteed the shrimp in. It has all that shrimpy flavor in there. It can go into the sauce or the gravy. I'm going to start off with one and a quarter cups of chicken broth. 
right into my preheated pan. To that, I'm going to add oyster sauce. This gives it seasoning, salt, flavor, and color. I'm gonna mix that, just combine it. Now before I continue mixing, I'm gonna also add a little bit of my, you know, onion powder. Like I said, fresh ingredients go a long way if you got it. My son is super excited, by the way. A little bit of garlic powder. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of white pepper. I'm gonna give this a mix, combine it, and bring it to a simmer. Okay, so I thought I was filming and I wasn't. So after bringing my broth up to a simmer and tasting it, I added a cornstarch slurry. Cornstarch and two tablespoons of cold water, give it a mix, and pour it right into your broth to thicken it, and that is it. Sorry about that, guys. So as you can see, it has thickened the broth. I'm gonna let it go for a little bit longer, and that is it. That's going to be the gravy that goes over the egg foo young. And I will list everything, as I stated earlier, in the description below for measurements and ingredients. So good. Okay, so I'm going to give this, I'll tell you what, let's give this one a try. So you can see the inside. You hear that crunchy, crispy, oh, I love it. And you can add any fresh ingredients to this. You can leave the shrimp out and just do tons of veggies. It's so good, but take a look at that. And I wanna show you, the, the inside is cooked. Here we go. There we go. So I'm, I'm salivating here, I gotta eat. Mm, mm, mm. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.